Hi, hello, friends, lovers, and the cicadas that are currently invading where I live. Terrible, I hate it. I remember when I was like in second grade or first grade, who knows, when they first came out. Why does that sound so weird to me? When the cicadas emerged when I was little, I remember being absolutely fucking terrifying, like cicadas flying everywhere. Recess was so scary. People, and by people I mean children, and by children I mean boy children, putting cicadas in their mouths just like all the time. None of that would have been a problem if cicadas just didn't exist. I don't think they provide any ecological value to us, and I'm okay with them all dying out. If global warming can kill the cicadas first, I will be happy. Also, sorry I have not posted in quite a hot minute, but I can finally tell you like what's been going on, which is that I applied to and got into a master's program. Yes! So I will be starting in the fall at JTS for a master's in Jewish gender and women's studies, which is gonna be really cool. But yeah, I'm super stoked. Also, like, I'm about to be trilingual. Interesting things to be happening. I did also like actually film a different video and I absolutely hated it. After I filmed it, I was like, this whole thing sucked. It sucked so bad. And the two other videos that I have, that I'm planning, that should be really fun. They're like styling videos. They are not ready. So here we are. I love watching Cody Ko's GeoGuessr videos and I obviously, you know, unsurprisingly, as an Aquarius with bipolar disorder, I'm a genius and I know everything. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I don't know everything. But I do have an inflated sense of what I actually know and what I can actually do. But I do have a generally okay, if not good, sense of geography. I did actually initially want to do a video like this challenging Elsa, who has not been on the channel in a hot minute, to like a one versus one geoguesser thing and to like see if she could beat me because she thinks that she's really bad at geography. So she thinks that she's really bad and I think that I'm incredible at it. The reality has got to be somewhere in the middle, which means that we'd probably be a pretty even match. So I did try it out. So I kind of know how it works. But also I was already kind of familiar with this. GeoGuessr is very similar to if you were like on Tumblr in like what must have been like 2012, 2013, people were doing this thing called map crunching. It was basically like map crunch would use Google Maps to plop you down just anywhere in the world and you'd have to get to the airport. Now this is a little bit more sophisticated than that because you have to figure out where you actually are. So we're going to start out easy and then I guess like get more, it'll get more difficult till I'm like, okay, that's enough recording. By starting off easy, I mean, we're going to start with the famous places map, which is what I did already try. I do think that I will be good at it. Also, I'm not going to do the time limit. You'll just see. I kind of do this the same way that I take tests, which is like, go, 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 go. Don't think about it. Leave. Um, yeah. Plus also, I feel like since I'm used to watching like Cody Ko go really fast, I feel like I'll just go fast. Loading location. Okay. This literally is a theme park. What the hell? Circle around. I wish I could literally see what all of that is over there. Hmm. Knight's Kingdom. Venta TDA. Nope, that is not how you pronounce it. Vent Venta Titer. Venta Titer. What the hell? Grill Buffet. Why is this all in English? I don't know what this is. I've definitely never been here, and I don't think this is a famous place. I'll give you that much. Lego Knights blah blah blah. Fuck. Okay, so I've definitely never been here. Probably not Dutch Wonderland, which I've also never been to. I'm gonna say... Oh, fuck, where could this be? Fuck it, we're saying... We're just gonna go with Dutch Wonderland because I really can't think of anything else. But that wouldn't make any sense, now would it? It wouldn't make any sense. Okay, where could this be? California. Anywhere in the south, but probably not. Looking at the ge the foliage. You know what? I'll just put it near Philly. 
You know, like I know that is kind of near. I, I, oh, nope, I didn't want to click there. I know I'm still in my like, mm, definitely. You know what? We're going to put it near King of Prussia. We're going to, we're going to try that because there's no way that it's in Hershey. God fucking damn it. It was in Denmark, but everything was in English. It's not making any sense to me. <sighs> Play the next round. All right. We're seeing a lot of trees. We're seeing literally nothing that is helpful to me. What the fuck? <sighs> okay. It's a park. What is this? This could be anything. Um, well, what is that thing over there that it's not letting me get towards? It's, it's not actually the, it's not the Eiffel Tower, because I've been there like a million times. Sorry to flex, but I have been there. Well, granted, I've never come from the back. That's what she said. <laughs> oh so, sorry, I'm like cheating the system going all around I guess it has to be this doesn't seem right could it be a Disney no it's got to be the real one maybe I should have gone from the back one time before if we see the carousel then we know it's the real deal and the carousel would be right over there no, stop that, sir. I want to be over there. Hmm. Hmm. This seems fake. I feel like I'm being tricked. Hmm. Let me go underneath it. <sighs> okay, it's got to be the real one, because I've definitely stood right there, because that one girl on our exchange trip missed. She missed the train from Marseille to Paris and she definitely met us right underneath it and we were like where have you been she was like we already went in the Musée d'Orsay and you guys are never gonna get to go because you stood here waiting for me anyways um be on time to things but I know that's really hard for some people including myself so maybe I shouldn't be shading this girl who I'm still mad at all these years later oh no you are it's not there um Sorry. Yeah. Tour Eiffel. Yeah, I know. Uh-huh. I know there's the Champ de Mar. I see I'm trying to get to the the gardens, but that's not actually where I'm trying to be. Yep. Yes. 147 yards from the correct location. I guess that's because I walked around. But yeah, I've been there. So one location that I've already been to. Last time I played this, they did. Oh, I know exactly where this is. Hi, hi to the Statue of Liberty. But last time I played this, it did put me on the, um, the Acropolis twice. It was like, I've literally stood here. I've been here. I have never been to the Statue of Liberty. I did want to go there for my seventh birthday, but I did find out that the hat was closed. And I was literally heartbroken. I was like, this is horrendous to me. I know it's like near Queens-ish, but I don't totally know. Uh, someone who's watching this is, and had lives there their whole life is going to be like, you're a fucking idiot. That's correct. You can say it. It's true. Um, oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. I really don't know anything. I know I've seen it going into Brooklyn before. Uh, really trying to like scour my memory for m when I went to my cousin's bar mitzvah and we got lost on the way there coming in from New Jersey. Um, oh, there we go. That's the Statue of Liberty. That is the city, um, which means we are on the Jersey side. Ew, ew, Jersey side. Just kidding. Um, my grandparents lived in New Jersey, if that wasn't clear from the thing. Um, oh gosh. Okay, so that must mean we're, like, right there. You're welcome. 263 yards. So, like, does it want me to get 
the statue or does it want me to get where it placed me in view of the statue? I guess that's where my concern really is. But I guess this does mean that it wants me to be picking the famous thing. Okay, fine. I guess I will simply do that. Play the next round. Give me the Acropolis. No. This looks like the Great Wall of China, which I have never been to, and someone wrote Korea. It is definitely the Great Wall of China. Now, let me tell you this. I have never been there. I do not totally remember where it is on a map. I think it's on the south side. The south end? The southern border? I don't really know. I really don't know, actually. F. Ugh. You can comment F. If you're like, wow, this is really embarrassing that you don't, you don't know where the wall is. Because that's true, I don't know where the wall is. I guess I will click here. That's my guess. No, it was on the northern end. That's fair. That's fair. That is fair that I did badly. This is the last round. This is definitely France. Uh, restaurant. L'Armandie. Please ignore the fact that I don't really speak very much French anymore. Luc à I'm seeing like bulls. So like running of the bulls, which means it could be near, oh my goodness, the, the, um, the Pyrenees mountains, right? Like Basque area. But probably not. Let's see what this little sign has to say about anything. Uh, Parc des Ateliers, which is not very helpful. I don't really know what that means. Monte Vauban. Okay, I know that's Les Escaliers, which is not very helpful to me. Those things are everywhere. Okay, I'm seeing a nine. I'm seeing a little doodle. Saint Césaire. That means nothing to me. Great. Very helpful to me. In case you were wondering, my laundry has been sitting in the laundry machine for way too long. Galerie au milieu. Not helpful. I don't know what that is. Oops, sorry about that. Vauban means nothing to me. I don't know what that is. I have literally no idea where we are. Other than the France. We're in France. Thanks. Let's go back to where we first started. Okay, and go in the opposite direction from what we just did. Oh, okay. Okay. This is a big building thing. Okay. Okay. <laughs> the more I say okay, the less it is okay. Um, I mean, that's not totally true. I really should know where this is. I guarantee I have been here. I know my gut is saying that, like, that fucking place that they stole the Pope and they brought him there because I know I have been there. Rue de la Bastille. Really? Really. Hmm. Hmm. It's bad that I feel like I'm, I don't want to believe it. I don't want to believe that we're there because that doesn't actually make any sense with the way that everything looks a little bit a lot more like the south and not actually where Bastille actually is um, to use my American accent oh god I'm spending way too long on here because I'm talking that is not very helpful to me myself or I see this little lady taking a picture what is she taking a picture of okay we're definitely in the south because that is a little amphitheater and where the Romans conquered in the south of France there's like a load of those so okay I know my gut is telling me it's that place where they stole the Pope to um where did they take the Pope because I've been there and I have a painting from there I bought this painting which I love I love this painting it starts with like a P no it doesn't it's an A where is it Avignon there we go I really think it's Avignon my guess is Avignon it's gonna be like no Yes! I'm fucking smart. I've been to France more than once, and I was only 21 miles off. That's pretty good. That is pretty good. Sometimes traveling does help. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and redeem myself, because I really, I feel embarrassed. I feel, I'm feeling a little embarrassed in the chat tonight. You know what? No. Okay, I said I was gonna go and 
get more and more difficult. I will do the U.S. and then I will do the world after this, okay? Very nervous. Still gonna, no time, no time limit on this one. Okay. Because also every time I watch Cody do this, my gut is like, everything's Ohio. I do think he has, he was actually landed right here once. Um, but I, this looks like Ohio. Everything looks like Ohio. If it looks like I don't want to be there, it's Ohio. You know, um, my other thing was like, well, if I'm seeing any Spanish moss, but I'm not seeing any Spanish moss. I'm seeing something more that could mean anything. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. But it does look a little not great. So instead of being where I know, so it could be like here-ish, but I'm gonna actually go with near Cincinnati, but like the middle of nowhere near Cincinnati. That's my guess. Really could have been worse. Really could have been a lot worse. <sighs> okay, secondary location. Okay, I'm seeing fall. I'm seeing Route 91, which should ring a bell for me, but is not. Okay, that sign has got to be telling me some clues. This sign says Franklin first. Who the fuck is Franklin? Uh-huh. I'm seeing planet. ATM available inside. I'm seeing monster energy. Uh-huh. That's exactly what I like to see. Um, big monster energy stands. I'm sure someone is watching this and they're like, you're a fucking idiot for not knowing. <sighs> Interstate 91. Okay. Okay. We're on a highway and everything is uh, just a fucking doodle. Oh my God. Nothing means anything in my brain. <laughs> You know what I'm talking about? Everything's owned by a bigger company here. Everything is a chain. Yeah, everything's a chain. What is that? A pharmacy. Miller's Falls Road. Some marketplace. Now let's zoom out a little bit. Okay. Well, some mountains. Some mountains. But it's not that mountainy. I'm going to go with Pennsylvania. Because why? Everything has to be a place that I have lived. Um, but it has to be on, can't be near Pittsburgh, because that is, I know it's way more mountainy, um, but I, where's 91 actually? If I could find 91, that would be super helpful. I see 81. Stop this. Stop this tomfoolery. I'm seeing 90, 93. Oh, 91. Well, it looks like... A little impoverished so I'm gonna say it's right there right there kind of near Vermont kind of near whatever is next to Vermont I think it goes New Hampshire Vermont Maine which would track with where I have been in Maine it's Massachusetts all right well not in an area of Massachusetts that I've been so I would have had no frame of reference am I stressed because my desire to pick at my skin is so strong next round this is anywhere, um, but it is super, f super flat. Um, lots of manicured fake lawns. This does look like this one woman who's got this beautiful blonde three-year-old who I watch on TikTok because um, the daughter's super funny. Sometimes she'll take her on walks and it looks just like this. And I know that they live in Arizona. Am I going to go? could also be Nevada. I don't know anything about this part of the world. Could be New Mexico. Yeah, I'm gonna go like suburb of Albuquerque. That feels right in my soul. Ah, oh, I was in Oregon. See, but I've like never been on that side of the country because there's not really any need for me to. I was there when I was a flower, not girl in my cousin's wedding. No, I wasn't a flower, not girl. I was, and this is really gay of me, I was the ring bearer because I had just read the story, what's his name? He's the aardvark dude and he's got a little sister named DW. Arthur, yeah. Lots of Arthur trauma that one day I will tell you guys about. Stop riding your dirt bike. 
Fun fact, if you're not from the D.C. area, everyone in suburban Maryland thinks that they are a redneck. I was originally slated, I was originally cast as the flower girl, but in my child brain, I was like, well, DW dropped those rings down the vent that was in the middle of the aisle at the wedding. First of all, that is just straight up bad design of the venue, but my not like other girls-ness was strong at a very young age. Also that gender play in there, very queer of me, very accurate to who I continue to be. Next round. God damn it. I feel like everywhere we go, I don't know where we are. This is a college. Every college in the country looks the same. This looks bad. And that looks bad, but sometimes if you pray hard enough, right on the bin, it'll tell you where you are. I can't read it, so that is not helpful to me. This is an apartment complex, but it kind of looks like a college. What is this little sign? The sign says no parking. I don't, I literally don't know where this is. Um... This could be anywhere. This means nothing to me. Um, mm -mm -mm. Let's go Indiana. Who fucking cares? Absolutely disturbing. Very disturbing and disgusting to me that I was not that far off. Okay. Play next round. Where the hell are we? I know I should not be so angry. This is... Now, don't hate me. I think we are in New Jersey. I think we're in New Jersey. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It's v giving me very where my grandparents lived, except there's not enough big houses being built around it. So, oh, what's that? That looks like a little college sign. It's red. <laughs> Words that I cannot read. I could, what the fuck do I know? Um, stop. Okay, fine. Let me go up to the street. What is this? It's a church. None of this means anything to me. Lawrence and Stowe Street. Okay, and what about it? Okay, this truck is not helpful. Solutions. Broad, broadband solutions. That could be anywhere, but it's got a 920. <laughs> I know, someone's like, you're stupid. Why don't you know? where this is. I don't. I don't. But I do think 920 is kind of near what I was already thinking. So we're gonna go with southern New Jersey, wherever it's not Jewish. I don't know. Whatever not Jewish New Jersey is. Tom's River. Who fucking knows? Somewhere I have not been. Milwaukee. Of course I haven't been there. I did not, I did not do very good. That's pretty embarrassing. That was bad. I'm gonna go back to famous places. I don't want it, I don't want it to get any harder. One last easy round. <laughs> round it out and just vibe. Just vibe in the GeoGuessr land, please. Thank you. Oy vey, I don't know where this is. Why am I bad and dumb? Actually, I do know exactly where this is. This is the place that I have not been that was like built as a memorial to the people who died in 9-11. My best friend, Amy, who I don't think actually watches my videos, fake fan, she has been here. You don't care. That means nothing to you. But she's been there because her uncle was tragically killed in the... Oh my god, what's the word for it? Someone has to be smarter than me. 9-11. Oh my god. I can't believe that they let me into a master's program. I couldn't remember what 9-11 was. Yeah, very embarrassing for me. I know it's near the, it's gotta be in the financial district, okay. Yes, the 9-11 Memorial Museum. Yes, I was literally the wrong building. It was the next building over. Mm -hmm. Very good of me. Play the next round. Have I been there? No, I have not, but I did get this last time. 
and I know it's Singapore. You know why? Or at least I thought it was Singapore and I hope I got it right. I can't explain it, you know? Like I saw Crazy Rich Asians like 15 times. So I just know. It's just in my heart and soul. It's just gotta be Singapore, the island nation of Singapore. I got into a fight, a physical brawl with my friends um, not too long ago because I was like, wait, why were we talking about Singapore? Well, I think we were talking about traveling together. And they were like, let's go to somewhere in Asia. And I was like, Singapore. And they were like, huh? They were like, Singapore's a whole country. I was like, Singapore's an island. Oh, God damn it. I did get this wrong last time. It was so funny when I was like playing this to like prepare. It literally, it showed me the, oh my gosh, I'm going to get it wrong. The, the very important religious site that everyone travels to in Mecca, you know, where you're supposed to go, you, you're supposed to make, is it the Hajj? I thought the Hajj was the, the pilgrimage to Mecca. Anyways, it was, you know, that iconic black structure and tons of people praying around it. I was like, hmm, I wonder. It's almost like I, I've never taken a world religions course before. And I have been here. This is Versailles. Um, and I, I didn't want to go into the gardens because I'm so lazy. But also I was there alone. Also, look at this disembodied hand. I love him. I love this disembodied hand. Um, yeah, I've done a lot of solo travel um, by lying to my parents that I was traveling with people uh, when I most certainly was not. But also I'm an adult. Do they not treat me like an adult? Oh yeah, all the time. Um, I did also sleep through therapy this week, which was not very helpful to me. I definitely needed to go to therapy. Um, Versailles temporarily closed. Yeah, I know it's temporarily closed. Um, but I can tell you exactly where we are. We are right there, right at that little flower. Um, yeah, I didn't go into the gardens because I was like, I was really hungry and it was really hot because it was the summer and I did not realize that um, summer in Paris is exactly like going into DC during the summer. It is swamp. Extremely hot. That's very rude. That's very rude that they were like, mm, yeah, 200 yards off. It's the same. It's literally 10 steps. I know because guess what? I've been there. Um, this is the Sydney Opera House. I'm really smart. <laughs> Did you know that? Um, literally, I've never been here. I would like to go, except I don't actually think there's anything to do in Sydney. So I think I might maybe just go to Perth or Melbourne. I would go to Melbourne and find Peach PRC and Mike Messenio, Michael's microphone, if you will. Well, it's not that far. You could probably just like get a flight from one to the other pretty easy. God, I cannot wait to, <laughs> I really cannot wait to travel. Now, where is that opera house? It's probably that little flower. Sydney Harbour. Nope. I'm really embarrassing. Are you interested in not being a disappointment to your family? Make sure you know how to do a very good Australian accent. Otherwise, you will be a disappointment to your bloodline. Where the hell is this doodle? I've never been here, which makes it definitely very hard to find the thing. I don't understand this country. What the hell is happening? Wedding cake rock? I'm obsessed. I love it. Where is it? Where would it be? Where possibly could it ever have been? I really do think it's right around there, though. I really think it is by... I think it's by the bridge. I really do think that. Um, which the guy who walked on the tight ropes in between the Twin Towers did also practice on the Sydney Harbour Bridge first and people flipped out. I was right, it was by the bridge. But I was only a little bit far. Okay, the well, last round. Is this... It is either... Oh, have I been here? I do think it might be Mont Saint-Michel, but I don't... I don't actually think so. I know it's kind of cheating to, like, move around and see where you are, but, like, I want to see where I am. Also, I don't totally remember where in France Mont Saint-Michel is. But this could also be 
uh, England. It could be anywhere in England, quite frankly. I've only been to Dublin right before the pandemic hit, so I don't know anything. I could not tell you what country this is. Uh, who are these boys? Okay, I was definitely right. It's definitely. What did I fucking tell you? I knew, I knew it was Mont Saint Michel. Um, which, okay, T. My dad and I have been watching all of. It's got to be in the north, right? Mont Saint Michel is this weird little island. <sighs> God, I have no fucking idea where it is. Embarrassing. What was my degree in French even for at this point? <sighs> let's let's go around here. A super, super doubt it's in the south. It really, you know what, let me not even entertain that thought. I know it's not in the south. Okay, but important, important things. My father and I have been watching all of um, American Ninja Warrior. And the oldest man to scale the warped wall. There we go. Mont Saint Michel. Um was doing a bike trip across all of Europe with his wife and he was like but I want to do Ninja Warrior and this must, this might be my last chance to do Ninja Warrior um and so he fucking left his wife after they were at Mont Saint Michel and came back to climb on scaffolding like I'm glad he did because I like seeing him I think he's good at it but still still um, but I did really good on this one. I really did. And even Remy wanted to celebrate. That was really good. That was really fun. If I do this again, I promise I will actually test myself. Um, instead of continuing to go to places where I either know the language or have literally visited. I really hope that got picked up. Bulby, when he gets really excited, he makes little chirping noises, um, especially when he gets excited that his baby, his baby is there and they can clean each other. Um, every single day we have ear cleaning time. It is very important to this household. But yeah, that's it. Let me know if you think that I'm bad at geography. Let me know if you like watching me just go to places that I've already been. Let me know if you live in New York and want to hang out once I get there in August. Let me know. I'm fully vaxxed up. If you never want to see me, just don't say anything. Keep your mouth shut. I don't really have anything to actually say in order to close this out. If you're interested in paying all of my master's degree tuition, let me know. And if you just want a vibe, you can follow all of my social media. It's always in the little box. Or it's also literally just my name. You can just find me anywhere. So yeah, you'll only have to suffer with the world's ugliest background for the next little bit. Except I've never had a good background, so it's just continued suffering, never ending. Thank you so much for watching. Feel free to like, comment, subscribe, follow me wherever. But yeah, that is it. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Whoa, whoa, mama mia. Here I go again